place them, encouraging them to get up here. And then I can feed in place, or I can click. You can also click with your mouth click if you want. It works. Oh, okay. it works too. So then you don't have to hold that. I did bring clickers out for you though. All right, so start from the beginning. Say what you're doing. Okay. So I'm having Helm come up onto the place bed. When he gets there, I can either feed in place or I can push away. He comes and collects his reward. Okay. Good. But so she leads him. She lures him a little bit. So you do that a few times and as you approach you say place and when you leave you say free or you use the clicker. If you use the clicker it's because you liked how he got on the place bed. He was full of verve, he was ready to go, he went ahead of you. So if he goes first right now he's like I don't know. Oh this is how he can be contained and calm in the house without having to be put away in his crate. He can, you can have guests come over and he's not jumping all over everyone. He should be on place. That's later down the road. Right? And then once I make him kind of where he's getting on there, he's loving it and he's enjoying being there. Mm -hmm. I can step away. If he comes off, I'll pop him back on. So so step one is say place and then say free or click. If you click, you must feed. You read that in the thing. Okay. And you do that 20 times, three times a day for a couple okay. days. Then there's step two in there where you do corners. Okay. So show them corners. And when you do corners, so she helps with the leash right. and food, He's already like, he's only six months old. Mm -hmm. His training sessions should not be more than nine minutes long. Okay? No, you can okay. do three or four of them a day if you want to, okay. but he's exhausted. <laughs> so, all right. So the corner looks, she's stepping way ahead. He's not ready for this, but she says place. She steps back because we don't say stay. Every command is an implied stay, even healing. Heal is stay next to, relative to me, whether I'm moving or not. So we just say place is your job. And then we step away. She comes back because he didn't do anything. If he does do something, she'll just say no the instant he steps off. Not if he's thinking about it when he steps off. No punishment or micromanagement for thoughts. Responses to decisions. Okay? So say place every time you leave. Because she's naming it and basically telling him that's your job while I do something else or why something else happens. Okay. Good boy. And Next I go corner. Each corner, and I generalize and make sure that he understands that nope. it doesn't matter right which there. side. Same rules apply. Nice. Nice. Good boy. So when he stepped off right there, she was mid sentence with you, but I said, nope, I marked it. Okay? Mm -hmm. The instant he steps, you just mark the moment, and then you can use a little Place. leash pressure to get him back on. Good boy. He's starting to say, oh, all I got to do is just stay here. Mm -hmm. place. So that's step two. Step three, she's going to say place from one corner and just walk to the next corner or halfway around or all the way around. So we're creating motion, distraction, a little bit of distance. At first, she's, or she does the corners, but she goes to the end of the leash, not just one step. Uh -huh. so I can say, place. And go all the way out. This is easy now because he's tired. She's like, that's fine. I just want to stay here anyways. All the way to the end, and then she can maybe do an arc, arc around to the next corner. That's hard, see? Nope. So sometimes you don't arc from six feet. At first, you arc from one foot and then move. But look at how she's so hold your leash around your thumb. There you go. And then the other hand, so she's holding that leash, but she's not trying to control him with the thumb. Watch her other hand if he messes up. So kind of get him to mess up and show what you do with the leash. Go. <laughs> well, and tempt him, tempt him. See, that left hand slides down that leash and helps it make it short for you. Her right hand doesn't do anything. Right hand is, is base hand, is, is thumb loop hand. Left hand is communication hand. So you still have to use your leash skills here, just it's easier. So with this, we're doing a lot of group service, so that we build a lot of commitment and a lot of hope for just staying here. So that's what place is all about, just staying and hanging out. 
Mm -hmm. And with the healing, when we start, we're building hope for if you just stay here. Okay. But that only works if when he's here, your arms are down. <laughs> this is why it's so good to film yourself. Because then you can self-critique and be like, ah, okay, next session. We do it again. He's like, oh, almost blew in about five seconds. He's tired. Training like this, 10 minutes, three times a day, it will do more to get him calm and quiet and happy and like calmer in the home than running him for five miles. It's exhausting. Ask any eight-year-old boy what's harder, three hours of soccer with your friends or 45 minutes of algebra homework. Uh -huh. Yep. But he likes algebra more than that kid, so <laughs> it's both. <laughs> so she said, nope. She uses the leash, helps him back on, and no food there. Just stay there. The hope of getting food is if you stay until I come back. But we don't say stay. And you see how very seldom she's saying the word place. It's only when she's about to leave or after she helps him after he messes up. Good puppy. Does that make sense? So 